Hi, this is Gene Montrestelli, the editor of TappingQ&A.com, and welcome to today 25 of our 30-day tapping challenge. Thanks for spending a little time tapping with me. Today we're going to tap on our disgust and distaste for failure. But before we do that, I want you to think of someone in your life right now who is struggling. And it might be with failure, and it might be with something else. It doesn't matter what it is. But I want you to think about them and just pull them into your heart. Take a nice big deep breath. And as we tap today, we're just going to hold the intention that we're going to share some of our healing and transformation with them, hopefully making their day a little bit better. Now, as we tap, move from tapping point to tapping point in the way that makes the most sense for you. You can certainly mirror me as I'm tapping along or do it the way that you want. That's the beautiful thing about tapping is it's about it being useful, not doing it perfect. So to begin with, I'm going to tap on the side of my hand. You can join me. Nice big deep breath. And just move from tapping point to tapping point, repeating after me. I hate failure. Failure is no fun. It can feel embarrassing. It can feel defeating. It can feel deflating. It can feel overwhelming. And the part of me that ha hates failure doesn't want me to have to experience that. And I'm glad there's a part of me that doesn't want to experience that. Because it's not really a lot of fun. But I also recognize the fact it is possible for me to try and avoid failure so much that I stop taking action. That I stop moving forward. That I stop trying to achieve. Because every time I try something, failure is a possibility. And I don't want to have to experience that. I recognize the fact it is possible for me to take the actions that I want, knowing that failure is a possibility, and also knowing the actions are still worthwhile. It is still worth my effort. It is still worth my time. I can despise failure, or at least despise the pain of failure, and still make thoughtful, deliberate choices, still be safe, still keep moving towards my goals. Nice big deep breath. It's natural to want to avoid failure. And I don't want you to go rushing into failure because failure for failure's sake is no good. But it's good for us to have a healthy relationship with it, knowing that sometimes we encounter it and we can still move forward in a thoughtful and deliberate way. I hope you enjoyed today's tapping. And if you did, I'd encourage you to check out the Tapping Q&A podcast. It is absolutely free. Everywhere top podcasts are available, just search Tapping Q&A. There are over 420 resources there. And every single week, we add at least one new resource. Also, follow us on Instagram. Every day or so, we're sharing a link to a resource that will help you be more effective with your tapping. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click the link down there below you will be able to receive notifications every single time we put up something new. And finally, if you know someone in your life who could use a resource like this, please be our ambassador. Pass it along. The easiest way for someone to find a new resource is from a recommendation of a friend. I hope you enjoyed today's tapping, and I look forward to tapping with you tomorrow on day 26 of our 30-day challenge.